Welcome everyone. I am Marcel. Thanks for checking out my page today. Today I want to talk about my cancer anniversary. Yes, one year since I was diagnosed with breast cancer. I was diagnosed with stage two triple negative breast cancer. It's been a little over a year. Can you believe it? It seems like it's been forever, but I wanted to tell you a little bit about my journey and what's going on with me now. So stay tuned, survivors. here great welcome I call everyone that subscribes to my channel survivors because we all are surviving something so whether it's a health diagnosis whether it's depression whether it's whatever if you wake up this morning you are you are a survivor and you're surviving something so welcome to my page it is my cancer anniversary you guys so it's been one year since my diagnosis yes I'm still here Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> but I do want to share with you a little bit about what this one year has looked like for me. So it began with chemotherapy. I received chemotherapy really pretty fast after diagnosis. Um, with triple negative breast cancer, it's a pretty aggressive cancer. So the recommended treatment is chemotherapy, surgery, then radiation. So I did everything in that order. Um, I also did some natural treatments. Um, and those are some things that I will discuss more about that at the end of this video. But to tell you a little bit about the chemotherapy that I had, I had to do eight rounds of chemotherapy every other week. Um, surgery, I had a double mastectomy. And then as far as radiation, it was, it was for five weeks. So I made it through all of that with um, a lot of prayer, a lot of um, dedication, a lot of work, a lot of family, a lot of friends, a lot of support. So I do want to thank everyone that's been supporting me so far. Um, I'm just so blessed to have you guys in my life. Another thing I want to talk about is some of the lingering side effects that you can have once you finish treatment. So pretty much life after cancer. Early menopause is one of the things that you could be going through right now. Neuropathy, pain in your joints, pain in your body, depression. I started out walking three miles a day for a month. I did that for a while and that was great, very challenging. Um, but my feet couldn't really handle that because um, I have heel spurs and plantar fasciitis, so it caused a lot of pain. So I decided to get a bicycle. Yes, a bike. So now I've been riding my bike and I ride that every day, uh, maybe five, six days a week. And up, right now I'm up to nine miles a day. Uh, my goal by the end of the month is to be at 10 miles a day, so I'm doing really great with that. Um, I'm also eating healthy, trying to eat lots of fruits and vegetables, making my smoothies still, lots of big salads, um, meat, but not a lot of meat, very little meat. Um, drinking lots and lots of water, green tea, and I'm also detoxing. It's very important to detox um, these chemicals and payments and all these things um, that you've been through out of your body even if you haven't been through any treatments everyone needs to detox because we have all kinds of chemicals in our food in our environments even our cleaning products the things we put in our hair and things like that so detox is very important um, i'm also trying to stay hydrated so i drink at least 100 ounces of water a day and then i have a really great announcement you guys my book got published this month so yes your girl is an author now cancer won't stop me and it shouldn't stop you either that is the name of my book so if you guys get a chance please check it out on amazon um you can get an e-reader copy of it um kindle or you can also get a hard book copy I have not received my copy yet, or I would show you guys. But um, I did order a whole bunch of copies. Uh, it won't be here until August. 
but uh, I know a couple of my friends have already received their copies and I'm going to be meeting with them sometime this week to sign it. So I will show you the book when I get it. But if you're interested in knowing a little bit more about my journey or my story, I would love for you to check out my book, Cancer Won't Stop Me. <laughs> and it shouldn't stop you either. So thank you guys for being on this journey with me. Um, I still have a lot more, I still have a lot of journey to go. I guess this is like a lifelong change and cancer changes your life, not just for the present, but forever. So if you have any questions, let me know below. I would love for you guys to, to subscribe to my page so that you can know more about me um, in my journey. I'm going to start posting more videos, um, mainly related to my book, but also um, I want to try to focus on helping other people with knowing what supplements to take, um, what natural treatments I did. So if you have any questions below or if you have any videos that you would like to see, let me know. So subscribe to this channel, like, and also leave a comment below and watch some of my other videos. Thank you. I'm also back to work full time. So I'm working from home though. Thank God for that. So my transition from treatment um, to recovery to back to work has been pretty smooth, especially since COVID-19 is going on and um, everyone's pretty much working from home in my office. There's a few people that has went back to the office but I am still working from home, so I'm able to recover, heal, um, build my strength up. So I'm very, very thankful about that as well. Hi, I also wanted to share that um, going through chemotherapy, you go through early menopause sometimes. Um, I'm going through early menopause, so one of the main side effects from that is hot flashes so i was having a lot of hot flashes especially directly after radiation for the last couple months but actually the last few weeks i haven't been having many hot flashes but i am still going through early menopause it's kind of a plus to that and a minus um the plus is no cycle <laughs> um anyway yeah so you have your pluses and minus to that um if you can overcome those hot flashes then you'll be doing great um, I think some of the supplements and the way of eating has really come back that. Um, so that's really not an issue for me anymore. I no longer have neuropathy, so I'm very happy about that because that causes pain in your hands and your feet. And um, I talk about that in one of my other videos and how that experience feels and how you can overcome it. So you can check out the video on neuropathy. I'll put it right here. And one other thing I wanted to talk about is my hair. As you guys can see, it's getting thicker. Um, not really getting a lot of length, but it is getting very, very thick. So I do have a video also on what am, what am I taking and what kind of system I'm using to grow my hair back. Um, I'm not really so much worried about it, just growing back so fast. I'm really just enjoying where I am right now. I'm enjoying the length that I have right now. Um, it's very easy, no stress, no worry, you know. So I'm really just trying to enjoy the moment, being present, so. So if you're still here, I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel. 